Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special economic weather report brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. Today we look at the Reserve Bank's decision to leave the official cash rate on hold at 3%. This was widely expected, but everyone looks closely at the comments that come out with the announcement to see if the Reserve Bank's view on the economy and interest rates have changed. Just to rewind a bit, back in December the Reserve Bank released its monetary policy statement in which it gave a pretty benign outlook for interest rates over the next couple of years. It forecast then that short-term interest rates would rise by about 1% over the next couple of years. This time around, six weeks later or so, the Reserve Bank says that its view hasn't changed much from the December monetary policy statement. The economy is still struggling to really fire and underlying inflation pressures are relatively weak. Remember, the Reserve Bank has to keep the underlying inflation rate between 1 and 3 per cent. It can look through spikes that happen because of government policy or shocks coming from the rest of the world. And of course, the GST increase in October is one of those. There are other changes which mean that the headline inflation rate may even hit 5 per cent later this year. But the Reserve Bank is saying the underlying inflation outlook is not that strong. And it's saying that even though we're seeing some signs of recovery in the housing market and the rest of the world is bubbling along reasonably nicely, particularly the developing countries, the Reserve Bank says that economic activity in New Zealand is relatively weak. So what does that mean for interest rates, for both term depositors and for mortgage uh, borrowers? So at the moment, floating mortgage rates are around about 6.1%. They tend to follow what's happening in the 90-day bill rate, which is closely aligned to the official cash rate. Given they're about 3% above the official cash rate and the 90-day bill rate, at the moment they're at 6.1%, the official cash rate is about 3%. So over the next two years, the Reserve Bank is forecasting the official cash rate and the 90-day bill rate rise about 1%. That would mean that the floating mortgage rate, which is currently about 6.1%, would rise to about 7.1%. Fixed mortgage rates are still a bit higher than floating mortgage rates, they're about 6.5%. And they tend to be more dependent on long-term interest rates. And they're driven by what's happening in international markets and concerns particularly about government borrowing internationally. So it's harder to tell where they're going to go at the moment. But it's clear that interest rates are not rising that fast, according to the Reserve Bank, and that the outlook is for only moderate increases as the economy recovers. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was a special economic weather report brought to you in association with the Bank of New Zealand.